<clears throat> Hi, my name is Alison Ayarado, and my story is entitled, Finding Your Place in the World When You're Stuck Here. In a world where humans wake up, perform their daily routines, and go to bed to repeat the same things the next day, one individual dares to defy the odds, if only it was actually possible. I am on a mission to avoid being complacent, to avoid being bored, and above all, avoid being stuck. How do I possibly overcome this daunting challenge? Anyone? <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> I can some help here. <laughs> a plane ticket, perhaps. That would be wonderful. But I'll settle for a tank of gas. Uh, that would get me far enough away from my current state of affairs. I'm like the Termulian. I think I can blend in anywhere. That would make me happy for a little while anyway but it's just not that logical. I think to myself, what do I have to possibly complain about? I live in the beautiful Garden State, Wayne to be exact, in a log cabin with my mother, working for a company that my father, my grandfather, and my great uncle worked for me. I have it so easy, right? In fact, I'm living the Jersey dream of perpetual weenia. <laughs> when I was a kid, I remember being asked in school, what do you want to be when you grow up? And where do you want to live when you're older? 30 years old, living with my mother, working for PSENG is exactly what I didn't say. <laughs> my wishful youth was, pre was with, built with dreams of far. Japan, France, Egypt, the Philippines, Italy, Mexico. As I sat in my grandparents' home where I grew up, I watch foreign films and anime. I used to love visiting this little Chinese shop within walking distance of my home. I chatted with kids, kids online from faraway places and being so naive, I thought to myself, I can't wait to go there and I can know someone there already. <laughs> <laughs> I was fascinated by the exotic, all the different languages, the clothing, the food, and the hot guys. <laughs> but these fantasies were overshadowed by a stiff reality played out in the government, media, and our fellow citizens. 9-11, the invasion of Iraq and Afghanistan, perpetual state of war, and other horrific global stories that led to a strengthened sense of patriotism and a heightened sense of the other. I couldn't understand why there were dividing lines or why we couldn't have peaceful relations. I wanted to study these concepts in college, and I decided to pick one that was out of this world William Patterson University in Wayne, New Jersey, 10 minutes from my house, and also where I consistently ran into people from high school. Extremely worldly indeed. There were some background reasons behind the choice, mostly money, but I made the most of it. I studied communication in French and became involved in various clubs and groups. I worked a lot and I volunteered, and most importantly, I studied abroad in Normandy where I met some of the most influential people in the world. My friends. Instead of chatting with mysterious online people, I was put face to face with people who were very different from me, led different lives, and held different beliefs. One day I'd be teaching my friends some random English words, and the next day I'd be arguing with how to pronounce the word pretzel. Mm -hmm. It's rezzel, by the way. I had this argument with the German girl. <laughs> I was an outsider and I couldn't have been happier. Every day felt like an adventure. I knew from then on that I wanted to be part of that journey and help others achieve their dreams of study abroad. So where did I go wrong? Mm -hmm. It could have been the student loans I took out when I decided to continue my education or my master's degree. It could have been the recovering job market and lack of opportunities in the field. It could have been that moving out of the house would have been a financial burden for my mother. It could have been that I didn't want to abandon my grandfather when he was alone after my grandmother's passing. It could have been my shitty resume. It could have been timing. <laughs> when every year had passed, I had been slowly putting my life together. My current job isn't terrible, and given the years prior, it's a complete miracle that I'm actually using my college degree and becoming more financially stable. But with every one of these years, I wonder if I'm fulfilling some lame destiny. You would think that becoming a so-called traveler, I wouldn't be so scared to take a new leap, a leap into a new life. But I'm terrified. Who wants some washed up 30 year old who's just a dreamer? 
have, I dug myself into a hole that's too far to reach my dreams. And what are my dreams anymore? But that's my logic speaking. My life thus far has been led by the guidance of my logical parents, who have lived in northern New Jersey their whole lives, and who have had the same careers their whole lives. Even today, in their minds, I'm crazy for considering leaving this comfortable life. They provided me with this guidebook, which I'm grateful for, but I'm ready to close a lot of chapters. Despite the many small hurdles, the biggest challenge has always been logic versus desire. So this mission of mine is nothing new. I've just been getting a little sidetracked. Just because I'm still here doesn't mean I'm stuck. I can buy that plane ticket now. Who's with me? <laughs>